Welcome. Please tell us a bit about yourself. All right. Uh, my name is Robert. I'm working at Massive in uh, here in Malmö. I've been working there for five or six years now as a concept artist. Uh, I love art. I love board sports. I love uh, information. I love watching documentaries, learning about new things. I think it's very interesting. What does a concept artist do? We paint stuff. <laughs> Anything that's needed in a game, like everything from just setting a mood on, on a level to like come up with ideas of how to solve different things and uh, yeah, basically it's artistic stuff. What other disciplines do you interact with as a concept artist? Uh, it depends on what you mean, but like when we have not so much to do, we tend to help out with a lot of uh, artistic things like uh, UI, we help out doing uh, like wallpapers, we do thick photographs, you know, all kinds of things where we, where we need like the artistic skills and uh, you know, yeah, things like that. What projects have you worked on so far? I worked on uh, Whirling Conflict, was on when I started on Massive, so I, I was like I came in maybe halfway into that project and uh, that was a lot of fun. And then I worked on uh, like the expansion pack for World in Conflict which was called Soviet Assault. And right now we're wrapping up Far Cry 3 uh, which will be released later this year. Okay. Uh, games is said to be a fast changing industry. How does that affect you? Uh, it affects me not so much. Uh, because I'm not so much into the technical things, uh, but I do try to keep up with the industry in a way that we usually like look at each other's work, uh, we look at other people's stuff. Uh, I'm very analytic, so when I look at someone uh, something and I think it's really cool, I tend to like break it down, see how they achieved like the mood that I got when I saw that image try to you know find a way and try to mimic that and experiment what inspired you to get into game development it was the art actually because uh, I was doing a lot of 3d back in the day I learned 3d studio max just by looking at tutorials on the web um, and then I found out about this school uh, which was like focused on 3D and animation and compositing and uh, basically game art. So that's, that was my way there. How did you get your first job in the industry? I didn't have anything to do like the first summer vacation uh, when the semester was over. So I applied for Massive and then I got an internship for two months and then, and then they wanted me there so I continued. Now that you work in the games industry, is it like you expected? Uh, not really. <laughs> it's I was like imagining, ima imagining, um, you know, a bunch of nerds sitting in a dark room, cracking their code. Uh, but it's not like that at all. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. There are so many people that are like super committed, super devoted, and uh, you know, just awesome people and like. It's not like, you know, you sit in your corner and do your thing. You always have to walk around and talk to people. It's very social. You have to, you know, keep in touch with everyone. So, uh, so you don't start working in one direction and then, you know, end up that you can't use what you're doing. So you have to, you know, constantly keep talking to people. Do you have any advice for anyone who wants to become a concept artist? Uh, work hard, stay focused. Uh, set up a goal like yeah I want to become a concept artist how can I get there and try you know just to break it down like take one step at a time okay well thank you thank you